My, 30M. Mother, 60M. Just crossed a red line of my wife's, 30F, and doesn't see the problem. Throw away for obvious reasons but I am at a loss for what to do. Some background. My wife has a turbulent history with her mother and older sister. Until my wife moved out their interactions were boiling down to a ton of emotional abuse, gaslighting, and heavy favoritism for her older sister. In fact, even in interactions with my wife's mother the amount of favoritism disturbed me as a neutral observer. For example, we were going to visit her grandmother and we had brought a bunch of souvenirs, boutique foods, that we knew her grandmother liked. However, COVID measures at the time ended up preventing us from bringing any food into their nursing home. Without even giving us the option of bringing it home, her mother immediately re-gifted it to her sister because, she might like it, the favoritism has been so stark that it's led to an almost PTSD response from my wife whenever something she owns ends up benefiting her sister. Her sister also never hesitates to rub all of the things she's gotten this way in our noses. My parents both 60-ish are visiting this week from abroad, and I warned them well in advance that this is a red line and they must not bring anything for her older sister or her kid because the reaction will be visceral and terrible. Mind you my parents have never met her sister or her kids because she snubbed our wedding. My dad understood and promised me that the several children's books they had prepared would stay at home and they would not bring them. My wife has also been doing her best to take my parents all over the country to show them places they have never been to before. Lo and behold on the day my wife's parents were scheduled to meet my parents, my mom shows up with the stack of books that she had packed behind my father's back and proceeded to gift them to my wife's parents to give to her sister. My mom insists this is because they're family and she hasn't done anything wrong. Predictably, the reaction has been utter pandemonium and I am left picking up the pieces. Wife wants no contact with my parents and my mom insists she did nothing wrong and my wife is overreacting over a stack of children's books. I am firmly on my wife's side on this as I had spent almost three weeks walking my parents through each incident to explain how this red line came to be. Dad cannot believe my mom would do such a thing behind his back and already apologized to my wife several times even though he had no part in what happened. Now the question is where do I go from here? Do I try and make my mother understand? I think the relationship is toast. Or how do I make my wife feel better because she feels so incredibly betrayed by my parents? For now, I think I need to get the books back before they get transferred to her sister. Edit. There have been a number of people asking me why my wife's family are still in the picture despite being toxic. The answer is that it's my fault. Her mother will push her way into our business and I have been hesitating to enforce proper boundaries for fear of rocking the boat. I've just learned that this behavior is called boat steadying, and I need to stop doing this. My wife does not keep in touch with her family willingly. She has said more than once that she would be happier if she never saw them again. Hey op while your wife obviously needs some professional help to sort out her feelings and move forward, your mother also needs to see the consequences of her actions. Go no contact for a set period of time even if she apologizes. She has no right to dictate how your wife should react and needs to be shown that the hard way by removing her choice to continue your relationship with her. So I see this as your mom gave your and your family's childhood books to her sister. They did not save those books for your future children. You made it clear that the relationship is bad, and no gifts to her sister's kids will ever make their way back to your family. These are not random meaningless books. I think people are missing the point. Or like, don't love reading to their kids to not see the nostalgia and connection there. Or were these random books your mom picked up on sale? Wait wait wait. You are the reason her toxic parents have the opportunity to treat her like this? She isn't in contact with them? And you're surprised that your mother is exactly like you? Info. Why is it okay for your wife to maintain contact with her mom, the person who contributes to her trauma, but expects you to cut contact with yours? Your mom has made an insensitive misstep by gifting books but is it a cultural norm to bring family gifts? I only ask because in my culture visitors often bring multiple gifts for extended, in-law family, even those they have never met. Wait, your wife has these issues and still spends time with her family? Start there man, definitely start there. There's no world where your wife ever gets better with them around. Therapy and going NC with her parents and sister. Seems really obvious. I, 22F, just found my out my husband, 22M, is on a swinging website. I was just proof reading something for my husband on his laptop and an email pinged in from a swinging website. 
I was confused. I didn't even know what swinging was and clicked the link and saw his bio claiming to be a bisexual guy, full of sexual energy and wants to try group sex and dogging so badly. I am so shocked and confused. We have a very healthy sex life so I don't understand. This time last year I was in a similar situation. I found my husband had posted not safe for work images of himself on a secret Reddit profile although the posts were before we met. All the explicit photos and posts were still visible to the public. When I confronted him, he was extremely embarrassed, tried to kick me out of the house even though it was the middle of the night, and then later he confessed to having signed up to a gay dating site in the early months of our marriage. He was so apologetic, explained that he was just curious because he is straight and he wanted to understand how gay propel think which I thought was very strange, but he said he never had any bad intentions and had forgotten about all the nudes he had online which he then deleted. We had only been married five months or so, I didn't want to throw everything away and I gave him the benefit of the doubt. My husband is very religious and it goes against his beliefs to participate in homosexuality. He blatantly denies being bisexual. I explained to him that if he is I won't think any differently of him, I'm not going to judge him, I just feel that it isn't fair for him to keep me in the dark about it, as his wife. I really don't understand why he is doing this again. I am shocked and confused and I just really don't know what to do. I don't know how to confront him about it again given that last time he went ballistic that he wanted to kick me out, he was so ashamed. I don't want to make him feel bad by exposing his secret activities but we are supposed to be in a monogamous marriage. I really love him but I don't want to be married to a guy who is going to have group sex and dogging and swinging behind my back. How should I approach him to ask about what I've just seen? Should I even bother asking or should I just forget it and trust him? Oh, boy, it's time for your first divorce. You're 22. Too young to be married to a cheater. End this sham marriage and wait until you're more mature to get married again. You mean your soon-to-be ex-husband. He is a cheater and a liar. You are young. Get out of that crazy run. Please get tested for STDs and get a divorce. A super Christian in the closet and masking his sexuality with the Bible shocking. My, 31F, girlfriend, 30F, chose a friendship over our relationship. My, 31F, girlfriend, 30F, have been together for two years exactly. About a year ago, one of her best friends, drunk, cornered her in her car, sat on her lap and tried to force a kiss onto her. My girlfriend was very hurt by her friend. I completely understand, getting assaulted by your best friend must be traumatic. However, my girlfriend decided to forgive her and continue with the friendship. She is asking me to respect her decision, but her decision doesn't make me feel respected. My girlfriend wants me and her friend to talk it out. Since everyone makes mistakes and we're all human. However, the friend hasn't tried to contact me, not even once. And now my girlfriend wants me to make an effort to smooth things over. I know my girlfriend isn't to blame for the almost kiss situation. But in my opinion continuing this friendship is like putting herself in the same situation and giving her the green light to do it again. It makes me feel like she's not so sad or offended by her friend actions if she's deciding to continue with the friendship. I am not okay with this friendship and when I said, I will never be okay with this, she replied with, well, do you want to break up instead? She has told me multiple times that even if I walk away, she won't stop being friends with her. She is willing to lose me but not her. I believe I'm being completely disrespected with this friendship. But my girlfriend thinks I should forgive and move on. I feel betrayed on more than one level. I dk how to be okay with my girlfriend being friends with her. And I also don't know how to be okay after knowing that she's willing to break up with me but not with her friend. Should I forgive both of them and move on? Or should I just walk away and find someone else who will choose me every single time? Walk away. You already know where you stand. She clearly doesn't give a fuck. End it. So your GF's friend has romantic feelings for her, even to go as far as trying to make out with her, and she wants you to be alright with it. Then girlfriend gets mad at you for not being okay with it and not trying to get along with someone that doesn't like or want to be around you. That's so screwed up? Then in a double down against your relationship move to say she'll break up with you over someone who tried to assault her if you don't get in line is incredibly wrong? Your girlfriend has no respect for you and then wants to force you into something you don't want to do? I think it's time to evaluate this relationship, if she respected you or loved you she wouldn't have said she'll choose her friend who loves her and wants her over you. It's time to respect yourself and leave the disrespect. Yeah that sucks. I sympathize and hope it gets better for you.
I think she is choosing her right to decide who she is friends with and what she will forgive over you. She doesn't want to cede the right to choose her own friendships to you. Your girlfriend was rightfully upset and took time and space. She has discussed it, accepted an apology and assurances it will never happen again, forgiven and moved on with the friendship. Will you also want to control whether she is allowed to continue to be in a relationship with her family members if they ever fuck up with her one time? She is choosing to have boundaries with you. I found out my 19M mum, 49F, is cheating on my dad, 56M. Recently my mum went out for drinks at a bar with a friend of hers. For convenience I'll call him CC's son as friends with my younger brother and him and my mum have been friends for a while. Because of this I wasn't worried about them having drinks alone even though my dad is away from home due to work. I have a friend who works at the bar they went to, and I received a text from her explaining that she had seen some inappropriate behavior between my mum and C. Apparently they had both become extremely drunk and were making out, which led to them going to the bathrooms together, which led to them going to C's car together where my friend witnessed clothes coming off. In disbelief I messaged a co-worker of hers who confirmed the story to be true. Shocked. I called my mum multiple times however she only picked up when she was on her way home. I only asked her if she was okay and whether she needed a ride home. She didn't need a ride and came home later by herself. My mum and dad have been married for over 15 years now. I love both of them a lot and they still seem happy together even after all that time. This was the last thing I ever expected to happen to me and I have no idea what to do. I have just been trying to avoid her since and act like nothing has happened. I don't want to confront her because I would hate to see her get upset. I feel like my dad should know but I'm scared that something will happen to my family that will make things even worse. I don't know if this is the first time my mom has done anything like this. I've been in a state of shock ever since this happened and I just feel lost on what I should do. Should I say something to either of my parents? And if so what would be the best way to go about it? You need to tell your dad. Keeping this a secret will do more damage than good. Tell your dad because he deserved to know the truth. If you keep it a secret, and dad finds out, the shit is gonna be way worse than if you just tell him the truth. If your mother is bold enough to do it in public she's been doing it for years. Your father needs to know. Right now. Never keep a cheater's secrets. She's already ruined her relationship with you. Don't let her continue to lie to your father. Cheaters betray the whole family. They need to be outed. Always.